Aquarius singles, welcome to your weekly reading with Angelic Ascensions Tarot. At the bottom of the deck is the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. So this is talking about someone not willing to put in the work necessary to sustain the relationship. Please check your moon and rising signs. Um, and know that these messages can go either way. So if it's not you um, playing a part in this situation, then it is your partner, okay? So I also wanted to make mention, someone made a comment and said that I'm telling each of the zodiac signs the same thing. Now, this happens. This happened to be the same way over the summer where there were a lot of breakups. Like every sign across the board, there was someone breaking up. Now, it, it looks like what happened when the eclipse came um, at the end of the summer is that karmic relationships were being eclipsed out. So what's taking place now is people are going back to their exes. So this isn't me trying to, trying to fabricate any type of story. Um, even if you look across YouTube, it's going to be pretty much the same thing. Or very similar because these are general readings. And this is the, the, the readings pick up um, the most prominent energy out there. So if, if, if breakups are happening, then that's what the cards are going to pick up on. Okay, so it's not me at, at all trying to bring any type of trickery or um, make up any type of story. So with that said, um, let's get on with the reading. Looks like some of you could be dealing with a Taurus. I'm seeing Aries and I'm seeing um, you as well, Aquarius. Scorpio also. So it looks like um, someone in your situation could be um, seeming to be a bit cold, a bit distant. Um, and it looks like there's some breakups on the horizon or you um, just experienced a breakup recently from a three-party situation. Okay, so obviously there were some secrets that were told and um, someone had a decision to make. Okay, so someone did have a decision to make because um, someone was juggling. And um, whatever these secrets were, and I didn't mention Pisces. I see that right here front and center as well. Um, there were some secrets that came out. And you could have came out of this relationship where you felt like the two of you were living as roommates. You know, uh, you felt like it was like um, a friends with benefits type of situation. And your partner could have felt that you were not being genuine about your true feelings. You know, um, your partner could have felt as if you were presenting yourself as if you wanted a committed relationship when truthfully you didn't. Um, and this can go either way. It doesn't have to be you playing this out Aquarius. This could be um, your partner or your ex-partner. And it looks like whatever happened in the past, that this has to be, um, I'm feeling like this is also an ex situation. Because like I said, I've been getting it across the Zodiac. You want to wipe the slate clean. Okay. And you want to, to manifest something new. It looks like you do want to make a commitment because something did come to an end. Yeah, so I'm seeing that this is, um, this could possibly be an X situation from what I'm seeing. There was trickery brought to the table. There were secrets that were kept. Someone gained some mental clarity and was able to make a decision. Um, now, you could have found that the partner, the, the relationship that you just got out of, this person wasn't really willing to put in the work necessary to sustain the relationship. They didn't really, they weren't interested in working on it. So things ultimately came to an end. But someone is getting ready to confess something. Um, and they may be confessing that they are, they, they've made a decision because they've, they've, they've um, done some soul searching and they've gained some type of enlightenment. And their instinct is telling them that they've, um, they've found the one. But they're not, someone in the situation is not feeling very hopeful or there was a lack of healing in the situation. But um, yeah, someone's ready to wipe the slate clean and start over. We've got the fool, which is at a number, uh, number zero. And then we've got the magician at a number one. Someone's ready to take a leap of faith so that they can um, manifest something new. Okay, so whatever it was that you got out of, it looks like you've severed the ties there. And um, you're going to move forward with a decision that you've made. And I'm feeling like this is someone from the past. This confirms it for me because there were turned down offers from this person in the past. Okay, so this has to be someone that you know already. 
Um, so forgive me if I go back and forth because my cards are kind of pulling me back in different directions of the story. So I hope you can follow. It looks like some whatever situation you got out of, there was an avoidance of issues. Things could have been very dramatic. Someone was trying trying to you know skirt around the issue, not not um, not discuss it. Someone was avoiding things. But it looks like, yeah, this is definitely someone from your past. There is a reunion coming up. You're going to have a reunion with someone from your past. And this person, you or this person, feels like this would be a victory to have this person back into your life. And I will say, as I say in all the videos, if it, if it pertains to an ex coming back, this is not me making any type of recommendation, nor am I suggesting that you must take someone from your past back. This is me just giving you a forecast. And if this is something that you want to dodge, then you are aware of what might come into your life and you have the prerogative to dodge it. Okay. So this is someone who in the past would have, <coughs> excuse me, probably said that they were not willing to give a second chance. Or there was a lack of a judgment call because someone was not willing to make a, a decision about a three-party situation. But like I said, someone has gained the mental clarity at, clarity and has developed a, you know uh, found a, you know the wherewithal to move forward on that decision there was some type of a cycle that's not closing so maybe this is someone that you constantly have this on again off again type of thing with and um things became unstable in the past maybe because of not being able to make a decision okay so some of you could be dealing with a libra or this is your chance to balance the scales um, in this situation from how they were in the past because there was some type of a karmic toxic situation that took place in the past. Some of you could be dealing with a Capricorn as well. You could have been dealing with someone in the past, um, if not this ex, then the relationship that you just got out of because remember this was a um, three-party situation or in other words, a love triangle. And that is, again, indicated here by this devil card. Some, someone could have had an addiction problem as well. Um, but someone felt chained to a toxic situation. And, you know, I'm feeling like this was a karmic lesson. And someone is ready to balance the scales and make a decision and remove themselves from this toxic situation and move into something that they feel would be um, bring them joy and bring a victory. Okay, so someone is very regretful for how they treated you in the past. And there were definitely some trust issues here. Um, someone's kind of maybe feeling um, a bit nervous about the idea of having someone come back into their lives after the, you know, the issues that were going on transpired they're feeling kind of nervous about you know allowing this person to come back some of you could be dealing with a leo but one of you is feeling very happy and optimistic about it and some of you could even have children with this person i'm also seeing that um yeah definitely this confirms it someone turned their back on a three-party situation so we're going from a three to a two so yeah this was a karmic lesson so that was one thing that happened with the eclipses. Karmic lessons um, were learned. You know, the veil was lifted. So people were able to see things for what they were. People may have recognized at that point that they were in karmic lessons and decided to remove themselves from it. Decision making is being made and, you know, people are removing themselves from a situation that they feel is is not necessary in their lives anymore or they feel that they want like i said want to move into something more positive and joyful someone's moving away from trickery into joy and i see that as something positive someone feels like this is a wish fulfilled you know to go back to someone in their past And like I said before, someone in this situation is feeling a bit nervous, a bit leery about allowing this person back. So they, they may feel the need to self-protect because, like I said before, there are trust issues here. Yeah, some of you are dealing with Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising as well. 
but you're trying to find you're trying to restore balance back to an old situation that um you uh, this could have been someone that you left in the cold in the past because i'm seeing that there was a past turn down offer okay so aquarius singles i will pull an advice card for you okay one for finances one for love and it says pay yourself first make yourself your most important financial obligation by setting aside a portion of your income every time you are paid. This loving form of self-care ensures that you'll have savings to invest in your present and your future. Okay, so let's move on to your advice card for love. Holy Spirit, what advice please do you have for the Aquarius singles from now until next week? Aquarius singles. Okay, the answer is wait. And I will read your advice card directly from the book. It says, Your situation is going to require a little patience. Your angels are not saying no, but they are saying not yet. Sometimes heaven needs a little extra time to make all the pieces fall perfectly into place. What you are asking for may have an effect on the lives of others. When that occurs, it can take additional preparation to make sure that everyone's needs are seen to. Be patient so that all who are involved can have the experience they're meant to be, or exper experience they're meant to have, rather. Okay, Aquarius Singles, this completes your weekly reading. If you are interested in booking a personal reading, I can be reached at angelicascensionstarot.com or angelicascensionstarot at gmail.com. Thank you all for your loyalty and for subscribing to my channel. And for those of you who are brand new, I give you a warm welcome. All right, Aquarius couples, I will see you again next week and I wish you all the best. Bye for now.